Nim, how was that, Knut? My purse pearl routine is going well. Purse pearl leg routine is going well. I'm eating big. Good to hear. How is your weight going? Have you taken any pictures? Have you, do you have any, uh, are any progression pics? Take some, uh, we want to see the progression pic. Nice pics. Solid, thick, solid, tight. Only been a week, that is true. But you need to have pictures lined up so you can almost see it as a video. Like this guy. Isn't that a... We want to see Nim in this, doing this. That would be cool. Same place every day. But we want them in nudes. Read this message. I bought something called cream of rice and it was disgusting. Is he streaming? Can we call him? Let's call Nim. I'm not even friends with Nim on Discord. Add friend? No. No, we are friends. I searched. Nim? Can you... Hello? Hello! You bought something called cream of rice and it was disgusting? Yeah, it's rice. I think you talked about it, right? Rice cream or whatever? Cream of rice, yes. It was so... Well, it didn't taste that much. It tasted like, uh, I imagine, like prison food in the future. That's okay. But what brand did you make? And how did you prepare this meal? Because now Chef Knut is speaking and I need okay. to teach you how to prepare a, a Michelin star uh, meal with cream of rice. Okay, sounds good. Let me <sighs> see. The brand was... Um, let me see. I can look it up real fast. Cream of rice. Yeah. Uh, Delta Nutrition. That's the one that I Delta got. Delta Supreme Cream of Rice. Was it this one? Okay, I can... Please, yeah, great. I'll find it for you. Gym Grossisten, did you buy there? Yes. Yep. 900 grams. E Delta yes. Nutrition Supreme Cream of Rice. Swedish yep. flag vanilla flavoring. That's the one. I haven't tasted this brand, but I would believe it's exactly the same. And, and explain to me, Nim, how did you prepare your cream of rice? Uh, I did what the instructions said. I I warmed up water. Yeah. Actually, I misread the instructions. I don't know how I managed because it was like two steps. Yeah. Because the instructions said um, boil water and then add the powder. But I, I put the powder in the water and then I boiled, but I don't think that matters. I'll tell, then, you uh, how, I'll tell you how to make perfect cream of rice. Okay, let's hear but it. Did, but was it good? Was the vanilla taste any good? Or how, how did that taste? No. Well, the thing is, like, okay, it wasn't really bad. It was just incredibly bland. It was like eating, I don't know, like eating glue or something. It was like eating pota mashed potatoes without the nice flavor. It was just really depressing. Yeah. Uh, and uh, also, I think maybe because of the way I cooked, I don't know, it was, I, I added a bit more in the end for a better consistency. And I think that didn't properly cook. So it's slightly like, yeah. yeah, consistency was also not perfectly smooth, but mostly it was just the taste was bad. Then I tried adding, uh, I just tried adding protein powder on top that didn't really work. And then I no. sliced bananas and I put in, and no. I mean, then it just tasted like bland potato, mashed potatoes with banana, you know? Okay. So, it's important that you do follow my steps because I have tried all the recipes. I've tried everything on a daily okay. and I'll tell you this is how you do it. Okay. You, you take, you measure up the cream of rice you want in whatever you want to have it in. Yeah. A bowl, uh, b whatever. With a lot of extra space. I often use those bigger bowls. Or a IKEA box, whatever, something that is, so you have some size. You need decent size because this is going to. We need to use a good amount of water. Then you just boil the water the, on the side, and you pour okay. the boiling water in to the cream of rice while you're mixing. Yep. Or just on top and then mix together, boil it. That's it. That's way better than trying to boil the cream of rice in water. I've tried it mm -hmm. multiple times. No, you didn't. Well, you didn't the cream do of that. Rice cooked enough then? Yes, you just you just uh, mix it together and then it's thick. It's uh, like it should be. 
Right. But it's important that you put in enough water up front because if not, it's going to feel like fucking uh, you're eating some uh, eating a rock. How much? Uh, what's the perfect consistency? Like mashed potatoes? Maybe a little bit thicker than mashed potatoes, just a little bit. Okay. And then what? What else do I do with it? What do you do? The, it, it is what I like to do is to add in. I I used to have uh, about two hundred grams of egg white plus two whole eggs that I cooked in a pan on the side, and then I mixed that in. A lot of cinnamon and some salt and the banana for a sweeter taste. Egg and cinnamon. Yeah. I don't know about that. Man. You fry eggs and you put that in with yeah. cinnamon. Yes, a lot of cinnamon. Are you trolling me? No. What a strange combination that sounds like, no? Okay. I when when when, I, when you hear it the first time it might sound a little bit strange, oh, but imagine everything you're putting eggs into that you're also putting cinnamons into. Okay. You think about it. Where do you put uh, put eggs in? You're putting eggs in almost everything that you're baking. Cinnamon buns? Doesn't they have egg in them? Yeah, but it's like it's like part of the dough. There's you're talking about frying bad. egg at this at like at yeah, the side is, and then But eggs doesn't taste anything. Yeah. <clears throat> eggs alone yeah, is ba basically tasteless. And you're mix and in this case you're mixing it all into the cream of rice. Yeah. So it will be vanilla, cinnamon with some eggs and a banana for for sweeter taste. When do you add the cinnamon in the end? Doesn't matter. I I used to first have cinnamon in the eggs while I was frying them with salt plus cinnamon in the cream of rice. Hmm. That is the perfect but recipe. I bought something else as well that was huh? really nice, though. Yeah. Because um, the cream of rice is good, like I guess carbs, but yeah. the, not crazy protein, right? No protein. Yeah, but I actually also got this one. Uh, and this one I quite liked. I don't know what you think about this one, but it was. Uh, it's just you mix it with uh, water, and it's just a porridge. Uh, and it's yeah. got lots of, it's got a bit of sugar in it, but you know, it's a uh, lots of protein. some some kind of meal replacement almost, is it? Uh, well, I or... guess it's just porridge, except uh, one easier to make. This is like porridge for bachelors. Vanilla, vanilla or canel. This is basically the cream of rice I'm telling you to make. Vanilla and cinnamon taste. Yeah, but this one's actually tasty. No, mine is tasty. If, if you <laughs> if you can't make this name, I will have to make it for you once. No, I can. I, make the have, I don't I trust that it's gonna taste better. I can try it right now. I I, I even <laughs> have to try it in just a bit. Maybe. I, do you have a Discord in your kitchen? Uh, no. Or you can you, you can you can use it on your phone, and I can see when you're making the cream of rice, and well, I can tell you I, I if can, you need more. Water. I can stream it. Yeah, and, and you can have you, and you can bring your phone and just have a Discord on that, so I can uh, yeah. tell you if you're doing correct or not. Does that work? Uh, yeah, sure. I just gotta see what's happening upstairs first. If the kitchen uh, is clear, I know how it is. It's the same, same here. Whenever you need to do it. <laughs> okay, sure. I'll. Uh, you know what? I'll call you on Discord if I'm if I'm doing it. I might get up and do it in a bit. Yeah, yeah I'll do that. Now, but this one. Fat, really low, carbs, 48 grams, and protein, 33 per 100. Th this is basically a meal re replacement. Yeah. So it's a good balanced, like it should be. Low on fat. It doesn't seem to be bad at all. Um, do you want to see my routine while you're at it? I can look at it. I don't actually have it like written down, but I have all the exercises I've done. Yeah. Um, but I could also write it down. Let me see. Yeah. My push day, I do. Uh, flat barbell bench press. Normal bench. Yeah. Bar. 
And then I do uh, overhead press. Pre uh, like shoulder press in a way? Ye yeah. Seated or standing? St standing up with a barbell. So, yeah. And then I do uh, incline dumbbell bench press. Yeah. And then I do, um, uh, I usually do some dips. Yeah, triceps. Uh, Plus some chest, uh, can it be as well? What'd you say? Triceps slash chest were, is dips. Yeah. And yeah. I do um, rope push downs, so just triceps. Yeah. And then I've, I've been trying to do, I've been trying to find something else for my shoulders. And la last time I did cable side lateral races. They're good. They're good. Oops. Oh shit. Anyway. Uh, yeah, that's actually my push day. And how often do you do that push day? Twice a week. Yeah. Uh, you could do more exercises uh, per muscle. Or, yeah. or how many sets do you do per muscle? Uh, I do like uh, w like one or two lower sets and then three like working uh, weight sets. Yeah. Uh, you, you, yeah. So you need to add in rear delts if you don't do that on back day. You can do that on back day as well when you're doing Yeah, that's exercises. sort of what I do. Yeah. You do uh -huh. two shoulder exercises, two triceps and two chest. Isn't that what you're doing now? <clears throat> yes, that's what I'm trying to do. Could add into three. Add one. Wait, what? You could add in one more exercise on each muscle there. Three per muscle. But this ex this uh this routine already takes me like w w I'd say like eighty minutes. Yeah, but it Maybe is uh, doing push pull legs is a slow routine. Maybe my uh, maybe I just take too long of a break in between my sets. You don't need much breaks. Yeah. Well. Other than uh, maybe on legs because you have to breathe in between. It's a bit heavier. Okay, I'm writing down my and then my uh, my uh, pull day is. See how do I share this with you without. Giving it to everyone in my ch oh shit. You can share on Discord. Pro. I don't see my Discord, and you can full sh full screen your cam. Uh -huh. Leaked. <laughs> I don't see anything yet. It's just uh, spinning around. Really? Now I can see it. That's my pull, but yeah. it's a bit weird. I don't want to do deadlifts. I think twice a week. I think that's maybe too much. So I do. Because all of these I do yeah. twice a week. So I do deadlift one time and then I do barbell rows instead. Well, that's a good thing, way of doing it. Deadlift, barbell row, seated, cable, row. Lat pull down, slash pull ups. Yeah, so maybe do... I should just do both. But last time I went, I just did I did uh, only pull downs. I didn't do yeah. it. It's like, it feels like exact same exercise, you know? It, it is kind of the same. Cable face pulls, but for rear delt biceps curls. So then it comes with the the, yeah. the fly machine was broken, but I've been thinking about adding uh, what's that called rear delt fly or whatever machine fly is that what it's called rear delt machine fly uh, that is a good one when you're sitting uh, when you're doing uh, my, the chest machine almost the back uh, the other way is that what you're doing yeah yeah, yeah exactly reversed pec deck or something yeah. I used to um, way, way back when I started working out. I was doing um, <clears throat> I was doing um, flies lying on a bench with dumbbells, and I injured my shoulder really badly. So I never no. dared to do flies again with dumbbells because there's nothing stopping them. So no. my arms went like too far back. I felt arms. that for like years. Your arms went too far back. Yeah, mm. you know when you did. Dumbbell flies or rear delts? Yeah, I was, lying, I was lying on my back. I need to see and this. The, the, I was going back with the dumbbells. Yeah. And they were like too heavy slash I was too tired. Ah, uh, so you slash I was too like tired. Really you just dropped them? Up. Yeah, I ripped the skin. Well, you you ripped the skin happened. or the muscle? 
<laughs> no, I tore the muscle, I guess. Um, one of my, li like, yeah, by the shoulder. Like, where the shoulder meets the chest, sort yeah, of. Yeah, Did you, do you have, like, the, um, the little... Um, it, can, can you still see it, where it, where it got torn? No, I don't think I ever really saw it physically, but I just felt mm. it. And then yeah. by the time it healed, um, like... Even like six months later, I would do the exercise or yeah. a similar exercise, and I could still feel a bit of pain. I had to be really careful. Yeah, but you can do like you can do a lot of different fly exercises. You can do yeah. cable cross. You can do. Uh, oh yeah, that's what I've been doing as well. Cable crossovers instead yeah. of because um, the, the the at the gym the fly machine was broken, so I used the cable cross instead. Yeah. yeah. Or you could go back to dumbbells, but do them really slow. Just yeah. hold the weights. You're holding it steady, not dropping it all the way down. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing that more muscle. now. Um, since you showed me that video of the guy, I've been trying to really just l use lower weights and just really fucking make sure I'm en engaging the muscle. Like, <clears throat> yeah, because you saw what, what he did. Yeah. And he was uh, he was big enough. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And it feels way better to really do like you're doing the good form. You feel like you're engaging yourself. And you don't have yeah. to bench 350 and drop the weight on yourself. No, no, no. <laughs> you don't need to do that ever, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Two reps or one and a half rep on 315. It isn't necessary. <laughs> um, and then... <laughs> My leg day is my biggest like machine day, which is normally I don't really like doing a lot of machine work, but I don't really know how to do these without machines. Um, squat, leg extension, seated um, leg curl machine, leg press. And then I don't know what this one is called, like the inner thigh, you know, like the give birth exercise. Then we do it. Yeah, that one is good. I do, do you know what? I would start the workout with that one. Really? Yeah. Put it I always start with like the big compound lift. Yeah, but that's a good to warm up your hips, to get them a little bit stretched out. And then you go into doing uh, squats afterwards. And uh, that's not a... The, the, that guy in your chat, that is not a girl exercise. Girls, <laughs> they don't want those big... This is one of the most important exercises to get your legs really looking big because uh, then you grow the muscle in between your legs so it uh, uh, tighten or uh, makes the gap, gap this it removes the tie gap oh. it fills it up with muscles um, they did, I couldn't find um, a calf raise machine at the gym but I'm thinking I don't know if I need calf raises because I moved into a house with two sets of stairs and those are already killing my Calves. I heard some, heard have some copium in the other end oh. being sucked in. <laughs> Don't need any calves. <laughs> no, I'm saying I'm getting calf workout just from walking, <laughs> from walking stairs. stairs. All day. Yeah. <laughs> That's you up can to do you. Calves on, I, uh, calves on leg press machine. I guess yeah, you can do that. You can do that. Um, you can do. Uh, you can work and you do it otherwise. You can you could do it in a Smith machine. Just have a have the bar on your uh, like on the top of your um, right. quads almost, but almost down to the knee, and put your uh, uh, feet on a plate or two, so you can do like the seated uh, calf raises. That's possible, but the leg press is really the leg press calf raises is good. Well, there you go. That's basically my routine. The only thing is I'm wondering if I, I, I sort of want to add maybe something for my core exercise. Sometimes on my day off, maybe I'll do like planks or maybe just at the end of a yeah. workout. I feel like my, uh, what's that called? The serratus, you know, the side on your... Yeah. I feel like I never hit or work that out. And I feel like it's always been small on me or like I have no core. Yeah, but you need to just diet down and you will see it. Hmm. it it's just covered. That's the thing. I feel like that is being, uh, you're using that every time you stabilize upper body. Yeah. Suppose. No name bulk more. I I'm being wand guide by your chat all the time. I'm, uh, it isn't good. Don't listen to, don't uh, listen to that. I read though. 
<laughs> I see them. Well, oh. I mean, I probably should, but I should probably just eat a bunch right now. Get back into it. <clears throat> That's what I've been doing. Because I got you... well from being sick, and I ate, I've been eating so much food. Yeah. How is it eating much food? Is your weight going up? Well, that's, I haven't I haven't weighed myself at all. I don't I don't normally weigh myself because I can tell if I'm gaining weight and also if I'm getting stronger. That's all I really care about. Yeah. But um, but since we is... recently moved, I don't even know where the scale is. Wow. It's in a box somewhere. But I can start weighing myself. I think I have been really bad at weighing myself lately, but I usually do that a lot. And I think it is smart to just keep track because it's so much easier to see if what you feel that you're doing aligns with what's actually happening. Yeah. Or am I going up? Uh, or does I, do I just feel really strong these days? Or am I body no, I mean, just... Uh... If I am lifting more weight, then I am getting stronger. Ergo, I'm probably gaining weight, no? You don't need to live, gain that much more weight. Maybe you're gaining too fast as well. Yeah, that's possible. That could happen as well. And then you're sitting there like a blob this next summer. Yeah. It doesn't seem like you have that problem, but uh, yep. it could happen. Skin isn't the correct word. You're, uh, you're looking muscular and uh, oh, thank you. with uh, low body fat. Uh, see the arms? Yeah, but see, uh, this whole like upper body, the, the push area of my body has always been pretty good at growing. But you know, I always feel like my core i should be like a gymnast or something work my core a swimmer or some shit no, mm. no, no, no. maybe that's just my the shape of me but i i think uh that i also wanted to add in a little bit more pull day was not there but you have to push day is triceps well that rope push down cable lateral rises push down and, and dips for the triceps basically and I mean all the bench exercises too. Yeah. You could do dips and ca cable push down the the first day. The next time, you can do something behind your head or behind your back lifting. Okay. Up. I would have had one of those exercises. You can just switch the dips with something where you st like in a way stretch behind your back. Yeah. I'm not sure what those uh, are called. Uh, like triceps extension, is it, or something? Uh, let me just find a video. Uh, I know what you're talking about, though. Or like um, um, a skull crusher or something, right? A skull crusher is, is not what I'm talking about, because that is okay. more similar oh, yeah, like to push. Uh, oh, yeah, on pull day, yeah. last time I did a, a straight arm. Ugh. Straight arm uh, pull downs as well. That was a good one. Uh, overhead mm. cable triceps extension. Overhead cable cable triceps extension. Yeah. That's nice. So you have a little bit of that as well. Uh, arm guy. Okay, let's yeah, check. Yeah, I have more. a broken arm. You seen that? Let me check. Yeah. I, I think I have uh, I've seen a clip or something on your stream before. Yeah. Sometimes in some angles, it's like super fucky and really noticeable like this. I see it when and you're holding hold it like that. Normally, you can't even... No, no, I, I, could, I can't notice uh, when you're holding it normally down on the sides. Yeah. But how did you manage to do that? Uh, I was like six years old and I fell down from like a car and I just, I hit right, I landed right on the elbow. So like... Yeah couple of bones went one way and, and like the other one I don't know it was just like and like some of the bones just went to confetti I don't know everything was crushed and fucked it's a miracle they even managed to make Juice. it functioning again yeah it seems like it's working like normal yeah I've never really had any big issues with it the only thing is I'm awful at throwing things and I have no idea if that's the arm or if I just suck at throwing things <laughs> I'm like really bad at throw, like aiming well and throwing things <laughs> are you good at aiming in computer games though no, no. That's I'm, nah, then, I don't know. then it's fucked. No, then your arm is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I can blame everything on that. Why are all of them laughing at the same time now? <laughs> React, aim. Okay. Then. 
Have you played Tarkov yet, uh, Nim? Uh, not this time around. I played it last time. That game was weird. Are you good? No. I played one time. Okay, one time. I started this time mm. and I lo fucking love the game. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Mm. Show clip. <laughs> Is there any clip? Of what? Oh! A, a Tark? Uh, there's, a, there's a... Yeah, there's an infamous Tarkov clip of me. <clears throat> can someone link in chat so I can see it? I have both chats open so you can link in whatever chat you like. <laughs> whatever chat you're sitting in. Okay, I need to start over. How is he not dead? How is this guy not dead? How is, how is he invertible? What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, that was my Tarkov experience. That was impressive, but you couldn't kill him in that many. <coughs> How was yeah, that even? Aim well. No, but you... Okay, I, I can I can tell. Was this the first time you played a game? Yep. I get that things like this can happen in Tarkov. I'm new as well. Just so you know, I am new as well. Yeah, but we I'm... can play it someday. Yeah, uh, you can just tell me when you want to. I, I usually play late, but okay. you're probably t playing earlier. Cause... Yeah. I've been Her... playing too many games these days in general. No, but you can add but... in a few hours on your stream to add in to some gaming when you have time. One yeah. Day. <laughs> One day. That's what I do. I, uh, I play, uh, I, I do my regular stream and I have gaming time in the end. That's what I do. You get sad that a bunch of people like leave because you start games instead of just just chatting. No, because I'm so used to this uh, people doing. Hello, it. fat nuttle. Yeah. So I, uh, I have, uh, I'm trying to grow the gaming audience. So everyone, if from uh, Nim Chat that likes to watch gaming from around midnight till 5 a.m., come over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nim is never streaming at that time. Midnight True. to 5 a.m. in Europe. Come Actually, over. Actually, I watch might do. Gaming. Um... I found out that this gym that I go to, they open until midnight, and like after 10 p.m., it's empty. Um, yeah. So I might do really late night gym streams from there, because I don't like streaming when there's people at the gym, but if I'm by myself. Well, then you can do it. Well, I might do some uh, late night gymming. Yeah. yeah. I think they will enjoy that. Um, a question about um, reps. Do you have any opinion there? Normally, the way I do it, I do on the really heavy compounds, I do only like five reps. Uh, mm. And then on some of the lighter things, I do eight reps. And then sometimes I do like, if I just increase the weight, maybe I do five reps. And then I add repetitions until I can comfortably do eight reps before I increase the weight again. Thoughts? I do a combination of both low and high rep during all workouts per oh. myself. So I do, you can do it like you're doing, like compounds. If you'd like to do that lower reps, you can do those lower reps and then add in other exercises with higher reps later in the yeah. workout that works or like i'm doing it right now we're doing two set per uh, per mus no per exercise and the first one will be like lower the lower rep range maybe four to eight rep mm. and then uh, i do one set with uh, 10 12 plus some uh, for example uh, drop set forced reps yeah. whatever so i do a little bit of both interesting okay so you can uh, i think it is smart to at least uh at least uh have both or a little bit lower rep range and a little bit higher in each workout Watch yeah the... okay yeah, mix it around. Yeah, I mean, a lot of times I add a, a final set where I just do as many as I can, basically, right? And then that ends up being 10 or 12 or something sometimes. <laughs> I saw the clip posted in your chat. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, I remember this. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> what? You made me look. Uh, <laughs> my poke is poke. <laughs> what happened? Pokes laugh as well. It's contagious. Uh, yeah. You want to laugh. No, but I, I think your uh, workout plan looks pretty good. Nice. If there's something more, I would have add, uh, switched or added in. Yeah. Um, let me see on your pull day. Maybe some type of pull over for your back. Okay. Just uh, you're doing deadlift, barbell row. That's more deadlift is more like an overall and back stretchers. Yeah. Barbell rows is pure rows, but it's pretty heavy. Seated yeah. cable row is pure row again. Lat pull yeah. down is one of the uh, or pull ups. That is the pull down movement. Lat lat movement. Cable face pulls is rear delts more. But I'll show you. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, face pulls uh, is uh, you hold a rope like this and you pull it to your face basically. So yes. You're, you're hitting this part. I think I showed you this video the last time. Just so you have uh... good posture exercises. Pull your back back. You're gonna end up with this gamer posture. I have the worst gamer posture. Really? Did, I send, did I send you this uh, exercise the last time? Let me check. I don't know. I'm not or this one. That cheat days. Well, <sighs> I'm working out five or maybe six times a week, so that leaves like one or two days of chilling. Yeah, two so days. I try to do some um, some kind of. Uh, ab exercise on the off days for vanity's sake or else you could just do a little bit of abs like a f little bit every day yeah i try it's just that i'm well number one i haven't really found a good place in the gym for that i don't understand where they do just lie on the ground and then secondly i'm always so tired in the end i'm like should i do some extra ah oh, i can't be ours uh i haven't done abs at all the last year so i'm lazy as, as you on that one or even worse. Yeah. I'm not even trying. I should have tried. Yeah, I don't you, you need bigger shoulders. They always lag behind. My, my coach put me on. He said five minutes every day in the morning of ab work. Every mm. day, five minutes. Nice. Have you watched American Psycho? Mm, just a little, but just clips, I think. Oh, you should watch the whole thing. But his morning routine is good. I wish you could watch it on stream, but you see his ass in it. Yeah. Not for the ass, you can watch it though. Oh, dude! If you, sometimes you should believe it would would be allowed to watch some ass on Twitch. <laughs> yeah, it's silly. Like uh, I watched a bunch of Mr. Bean on stream, yeah. and in almost every episode, you see someone's ass. Interestingly enough, I watched and Life that was and fine. Billy. Like what? 30, 40 years ago on British national television, I they know. were okay with broadcasting that, but not Twitch. Like, come on. Have you seen Life and Billy, the Swedish show? Life and Billy? I don't think so. Oh my god, you have something to watch. Take your what jabbe is... and watch Life okay. and Billy. There's six seasons out there. It's on SVT. Yeah. It's the best show Sweden has ever made. It's the best. Oh, I actually saw I saw you watching this yes. on your channel at some point. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Best TV show coming out of Sweden ever. You go. I'm, I'm dying laughing. They're insane, but there's some ass in that one as well. Just a few times, and uh -oh. in one episode, he life's girlfriend finds his uh, porn, uh, porn uh, cardboard box, Whoopsie and she pulls up that one. So you, if you're ever watching it on stream, you need to know the TOS places <laughs> up front. <laughs> but it isn't many. Fair enough. But you should watch it uh, with the Abbe. You, you will, uh, I think you will enjoy if you're not watching it on stream. Uh, yeah. Okay, can you, I'll go. I'll go try your um, cream of rice. You can watch if you want to. You can just um, um, 
I'll, hey, just uh, uh, you can shots. text me if I do it wrong. The instructions seem so simple, so I think I can handle yeah. it. Just make sure when you're pouring water over yeah. your cream of rice, make sure you pour a little, little bit more than you think you need. Okay. Just a little bit. Uh, or the you... water. So you just put the powder in a bowl. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. I, and then you boil water. Water into the bowl with cream of rice. Take a spoon and you mix. That's but it. I don't think I'll be making eggs with it this time, though. We actually almost have no eggs left. But can I just uh, can I do something else to get more protein in there? Can I add whey protein powder? You can try. I haven't tried, but maybe then you need oh. more water again. Uh, or maybe I'll just eat it for the carbs. You can, you can try to eat, eat it and then just drink the protein on the side. Mix the banana into it at least. How do you mean mix it in? Like chop it up or mash it in? or I would mash it in with a spoon. Into the powder or into the finished mix? Into the finished mix. Interesting. I would mm. do that because it's, you know, the, the, the rice has to be heated up with the boiling yeah. water. Okay. But then it makes yeah, I'm gonna try the, it. Try that. I, I will watch on your stream if you're doing it now. Nice. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll do it. Well. All right. Okay. Thanks, Knut. I'll talk to you uh, later. Yep. Have a good evening. Yeah. Goodbye. Yeah. Okay, boys, should we see if this Nim guy can make a cream of rice? Huh? Do you think so? Do you think you can make cream of rice? <laughs> Go, Jim. Yes. Maybe I should make some cream of rice just to uh, just to see if uh, I can make it. Well, uh... Uh, sorry, change of plans. I don't know if Knut's watching this. I'm not gonna make the cream of rice right now. There's another influencer. Yaba just finished painting. <clears throat> so she's gonna make soup apparently. So I'm getting luxury carbs today instead of fast carbs. Sorry, Knut. Uh-oh, you got the good old Nim scam. I will have to try the cream of rice uh, probably tomorrow. I can do some cream of rice, maybe first thing in the morning. <clears throat> then I think instead we'll do a bit of cities skylines now. And then I get some nice soup. Play GeoGuessr. I think I'm going to challenge Erob to GeoGuessr. Ha 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 ha. I oh. made cream of rice. <laughs> I made cream. Knut, um, um, I heard. The, the kitchen was busy. There's another influencer making cooking there. So um, I'm getting soup instead. I will uh, have to try your recipe some other day. I uh, I heard. I have uh, had my headset on. <laughs> <clears throat> there we go. I hope you heard it. Um, <clears throat> thank you, though, for the help, though. I appreciate that very much. Knut, ladies and gentlemen. Mods, give him a shout-out in the chat. And now... <clears throat> um, media request. Okay. Yes. We have to mix the cream of rice. We have to mix the cream of rice. Better chef. Shout out and ditched. Everybody was finished. Got my shout out and ditched.